Hello, this is Dave Hurwitz at ClassicsToday.com here to talk to you about these, Haydn's Opus 20 string quartets. But first, I want to play you a little bit of music, and I hope that you'll indulge me because you'll have to stare at me while it's going on, but I think you'll think it's worth it. You can close your eyes if the uh, image is too distressing. The music you're listening to is the Adagio, the third movement of the string quartet in F minor. That's Opus 20, number five. Now the Opus 20 string quartets were a revolution in the history of music. The first great instrumental works in the classical style. The music is a Siciliano. You can tell from the rhythm for example, the Christmas carol, Silent Night, is a Siciliano. But on top of the Siciliano rhythm, the solo violin is freely rhapsodizing in a completely free rhythm. It's so distracting. I mean, you can't really talk over it, can you? But you've got to hear the harmonies that come up at the end of this first section. Listen here. Why were the Opus 20 string quartets so important? If you know your music history, you'll know that one of the things that makes them outstanding is that three of the quartets conclude with fugues, each, for each laid out for a different number of voices, four, three, and two, respectively. That was a big deal. It's a big deal because what Haydn demonstrated in these quartets was the classical style's synthetic possibility. And I don't mean synthetic in terms of fake. I mean its ability to absorb elements from different musical styles and create organic works that simply incorporate every single influence that he could bring. For example, it's not just the fugues. There's a minuet right here in Opus 20, number four in D major, it's minuet a la Zingarese, in other words, a gypsy minuet. It uses Hungarian folk music. There are movements in the most sophisticated sonata style. There are also quartets that have a minuet second in the order of movements, and some that have the minuet third in the order of movements. So the actual large scale structure varies from work to work. Also, two of the quartets are in minor keys. Haydn wrote this opus in 1772, at the beginning of his Sturm und Drang period, when he began to explore the expressive possibility of turbulent minor keys. And so two of those quartets are part of that style as well. So there is no opus, that is group of works by Haydn, that has a wider variety and range of expression than the opus 20 string quartets. I particularly love the F minor quartet because of that Siciliano, because of the combination of strict rhythm in the accompaniment, free rhapsodizing by the solo violin, melting harmonies with the cadential points. It's romantic music. It looks it looks a hundred years into the future, at part in, in places, because as I said, it's a synthetic style. It's a style that gives you a little bit of everything a taste of the future, a glimpse at the past, and all of the joy of creativity that was Haydn in 70, 1772. Now, these performances are also my favorites. I, I, 
I recommend very highly the, the Auren String Quartet on the German Tatchet label, a small independent label. They've recorded all of the Haydn quartets in magnificent performances. It's the best set of all of the quartets out there. And I know that I'll be talking about more of them with you in the future. But just this Siciliano alone, it's such an unbelievable piece of music. It's haunting. It gets under your skin and you won't be able to forget it. You could write a book about it, really. In fact, I actually did. And here it is. This is my book on exploring Haydn. It's not just about Opus 20, but about the rest of the stuff, too. And Haydn, I have to say, you know, I mean, critics were not supposed to have favorites, but Haydn is kind of my favorite. If I had to pick one composer, he was absolutely music's boldest innovator. There is practically nothing in later music that you can't find him exploring originally. And while other composers did maybe bigger or looked at elements of things that he did in more detail, and, you know, Beethoven was Beethoven, and, and you know, but Haydn, Haydn was really, really, really special. A genius and somebody who never ceased to evolve and find fresh and new ways of, of breaking and exploring the boundaries of what he felt music could express. And he didn't do it in any more comprehensive fashion than in the Opus 20 string quartets. So please, if you don't know these works, grab them as soon as you can. Spend a couple hours listening to them. It will be time very, very well spent, I assure you. Thank you and enjoy.